Hi, Pam here from How To Pam. Today, I'm going to show you how to make homemade bread. Simple reason being, I've had a hankering for some fresh homemade bread. You know what that's like. It's awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ingredients and I'll be right back. Hi, okay. So now that I've got all my ingredients out, what we have is it's pretty basic, right? You need your flour. You need your sugar, you need salt, and you need yeast. Now I prefer to use quick rising yeast so then it cuts down on the time. And oil. And some people um, like to use olive oil for a lot of things, but I find that the olive oil affects the bread. It's, I don't know what it is about it, but maybe use corn oil or you know something like that instead so I'll wait for you to get your ingredients out and we can make bread together and then we'll start on the measuring and everything okay hi back again okay so now hopefully you have all your uh, ingredients and we'll start so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a cup of water warm water you don't want it um, I'm using my kettle because instead of having my where did I go? There we go. One cup of warm water. Okay. And then you're going to have a teaspoon of sugar. Measuring spoons. And then, I like to use a fork. See, and it's all dissolved in there. Nothing settled. And then with your quick rising yeast, you're going to use four level tablespoons. And what you do, okay, got a level, and you're going to sprinkle it. Because if you just pour it in a clump, it's going to sit in a clump at the bottom, and just the outside is going to get wet, and then you're going to have dry yeast in the middle, right? So there we go. And so you're going to want to do that with all four of them. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. It's all covered. And our fourth one. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes. Now if it wasn't the quick rising, it would probably take you longer. Be right back. Hi. Okay. So it's been about 10 minutes and what isn't um, is absorbed in the water and stuff, I'm going to mix. You're going to take a spoon and you're going to mix it. And it's probably going to take another couple of minutes to mix it. I want to make sure you get everything. Okay. So now the next step is about five cups of warm water. And this is a two cup. So there's two. Four. And my five. And mix again. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm just getting the lumps out. You don't want any lumps in your yeast. So I've been putting them against the side and then squishing them against there, and that works pretty good. Okay, next up, half a cup of sugar. And now a teaspoon of salt. Get my teaspoon. Um, that's the wrong one. That's a tablespoon. You don't want to be doing that. There we go. And 
this is only my half. I don't know where my teaspoon is. So, two of those. And again, you're going to stir it. A half a cup of oil. Oops. Half a cup. A quick stir. Not that it's going to mix really well because it's, you know, oil. Okay, the next step is adding the flour. And with this, it's approximately 10 cups. But if it takes a little more, you're going to add a little more because you want it to be, you want to be able to work the dough. Okay? So, got my measuring cup. And I've got maybe perhaps about 10 cups. put in five and then I'm going to stir it. Five. So now that it's getting thicker, I'm only going to add a couple of cups each time and then stir again. So I got five. There's six. And seven. Okay, got that stirred. A couple more cups. Eight. And, oops, nine. You'll notice now, with the more flour, it's getting thicker and harder to stir. Get in there. Soon, we'll just use our hands. Okay, so remember at the beginning I said it's going to be about 10 cups or maybe a little more? Well, we've got 9 and it's probably going to be a little bit more. So here's our 10, and I'll put another one. Okay, so now at this point of the game, you want to just add a little flour at a time until you get the desired consistency play-doh, and you don't want it sticking to you, and it's still at that really sticky stage. Okay, well it comes to a, a point where the spoon is not going to do you any good, and you're going to have to put your hands in there and start kneading. So. And you want to be gentle. See, there's flour underneath there. Up from the sides, and you push it down in the center, right? So you go around the side, push it down. You want to pull it up, punch it down. Turn your bowl about a quarter turn. Pull it up, punch it down, and keep doing this for a little bit. Oops. Flour, and you'll know when you have enough, when you can punch it down and nothing is sticking to your hands. Now, if you find it's still too sticky, 
add a little more flour. And if you've gone and overdone it, then you add a little more water. You know, a little bit at a time, work it, and then you want this consistency. Okay? Okay, and you're going to want to make a ball out of it after you've kneaded it for about 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> it's a bit of a workout. <laughs> but it is. Fresh and awesome. Bread machines are good, but you get to work. Okay, so when you have a nice round ball, you're going to put it in there and it's ready to be covered and left alone for about an hour or so. We're back again and it's been about an hour, so look at this. It's had the time, it's about, I don't know, what would you say, four or five times what it was originally. So now, get your frustration and punch it down. What we're going to do, get your knife. This is fun. Okay, now once it's punched down, I've got one loaf done. Take your knife and you're going to cut for another. Go with your bread, then we're going to cover them and let them rise again. And then we'll be back when it's baking time. Hi, we're back. So we're ready now to put the bread in the oven. They've risen, as you can see nicely. So excited, I love fresh bread. see you then okay so 20 minutes is up that's how long I put them in for is 20 minutes <laughs> that looks so scrumptious Yummy, yummy. So we'll be back in another 20 minutes to take those out. Okay, we're back another 20 minutes later. And I believe we're done. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh. I'm so excited. I can't wait to bite into them. Some bread and put some butter on there and it'll melt and... Well, anyways, thanks for sticking around and I hope you enjoy your bread like I'm going to enjoy my bread. This is Pam from How To Pam. <laughs>